Yep. Okay. Welcome everybody by this um, session uh, regarding the buy-in certification for the financial service industry, architecture training and certification by Patrick Derde and myself, Miles van der Plas. Uh, yeah. Well, please do ask your questions in the chat. Well, I think that Patrick already spoke a lot today, uh, but for who doesn't know him, Patrick Derde responsible uh, as chair of the buying information architecture uh, working group and uh, myself Marius van der Plas, director of Nare learning solutions i'm responsible for the buy-in banking architecture certification and as such the certification is now live for about three years nearly three years and we generally see in the market that the interest is growing uh, the certification also already had some revisions and we really see that interest and participation is growing at an extended rate and uh, therefore since the certification is also becoming more and more mature the adoption working group has also been reviewing um, if the certification is the buying banking architecture foundation certification is enough to meet the need uh, for professional certification in the market uh, also, buy-in is getting bigger and bigger, and also the amount of members and participants is growing, and also the variant professionals that are joining with buy-in is growing. And therefore, um, from the adoption working group with participants such as Patrick himself, René Vleeschouder, also Hans Tesselaar, we had a look at uh, which are the variant roles that are needed to make a buy-in team highly efficient and successful um, this uh, view this helicopter view that you see of a round table uh, visualizes uh, the conclusion that we made of the various roles that are needed in such a team um, so what you can see here is uh, management uh, of course represented uh, the enterprise architect data architect process architect and an integration uh, architect or professional um, for these various roles, we have the intention to develop certification, or, uh, except for the uh, top role, um, because management don't necessarily need to do certification. We think that a, for example, four-hour workshop um, would be sufficient, but they do need to understand what uh, business values and benefits does buy and have. How do I get most out of buy and how do I get most out of my team? What are common pitfalls um, and how can I leverage buy-in best? The buy-in banking architecture foundation certification, which you see on your right, that we have identified for the enterprise role. It also suits for the solution architect, for the business architect, and all the various architectural roles. And we still think that the buy-in banking architecture foundation certification is the core of the certification and if you work in buying it's highly recommended to do this certification it's a two to two day training course after which you have a proper foundation of buying and how buying works uh, how to uh, implement it what to understand um but it's not the only role there's also the buying uh, data architect and data specialist from which as now um we've seen from inquiries within buying itself that this is the next role from which I expect that the second half of July to September, somewhat in that time period, we will release uh, that certification as well for data architects and design specialists. So that's coming up fairly soon. And then the idea is that uh, following after that, a buy-in in the left corner, buy-in process architects and design specialists will follow. And after that, also for implementations and integrations, a buying API design and implementation specialist. The idea of these courses is that um, uh, buying banking architecture foundation certification is not a prerequisite. So it's not a hard requirement. Uh, so you can, if you want to directly go for the data architecture and design specialist, for example. But again, as mentioned, we highly recommend you to do the foundation certification. Each course will have a summary of what buy-in is and the advantages, but still it's recommended to do the foundation first. And we're also now having a look within the adoption working group if a practitioner certification as a follow-up for the buy-in bank architecture uh, foundation certification 
would be a good add-on. But that's still being discussed. But for now, it's fairly sure that the data architecture and design specialist is coming up. Um, so this is the helicopter view. Then we also have a horizontal view at the various roles and a short description here. And for that, I have Patrick, which who will elaborate the various roles and what they need to understand and know how we visualize it or how we envision it um, per uh, persona. Okay, thank you, uh, Moritz. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, for each of these um, roles, I'm going a little bit uh, into the the content of uh, what we are going to present. From the management part, it's actually a kind of an, a one hour, a one hour introduction in especially in the value of um, of beyond because the decision makers are actually the final uh, um, uh, people who have to say yes or no. We are going to use beyond as our um, banking reference architecture. So that's uh, that's meant to be only and uh, a well worked out um, one hour uh, session actually for, for the management. The enterprise architects in their various roles of enterprise architects, those are the people actually who are going to guide and direct the designs of, uh, of, of the banking, which means that the current um, course, the current training that we are delivering is giving this very high level overview of uh, its high level, but uh, but uh, quite, um, quite, uh, um, uh, how must I say, um, detailed, structured, very structured, um, where the enterprise architects or the solution architects or, uh, or, or program managers or name them who have an, a strategic role in the organization they actually need to understand what are the components of every bank and these components of every bank are uh, are um, explained by means of the meta model of beyond and um, all these elements are there explained and then in, um, in the second part of the training we are going to and create a use case of it. And the use case in this uh, training course, which as it, is the, as it exists uh, at the moment, is the different usages in a bank, a banking group actually, um, consisting of a number of banks having um, a number of payment applications. And these payment applications need to be rationalized. And that case will walk through uh, the use of, um, of BM. So that's the training as it is. It's also the training that is used um, to, um, to certify uh, the people who are wanting to become a, the BM uh, uh, banking uh, architect. So that is what we have. And there are, uh, um, Maurits, do you know how many how many uh, uh, people are already certified in this one? So I, I don't have the exact number for me, but I do know that we have roughly, we have distributed it roughly 340 uh, exam vouchers. Okay, so it's, uh, it's continuously growing. So, but this is then, this training gives you the high level content and then comes the question, but how do we apply this in practice? How can we use, for example, this uh, high level uh, content uh, uh, model from the business objects, the business object content model? How can we use this into our daily practice of our data governance, our data management, our data design? And for that reason, we uh, developed an, um, an, uh, a data management training and um, a trainings special um, focus on data architecture. The data architects, they are going to, um, to look at the, at this moment, published business object model diagrams. This is at a very high level stage, but always people are asking, but how do I relate this to my databases, to my logical data models, to my physical data models? So in that training course, we are going to, first of all, 
introduce the general concepts of uh, Beyond, and then focusing on, um, on the data model patterns that we are using. And after the data model patterns, we are going to apply that on some uh, service domains. Then we are going to, um, um, to uh, apply that on a specific case. And uh, the case that uh, will be used is the, is the customer onboarding uh, case. That's the case that we are going to use. Now, when we're doing data modeling, we can do data modeling from an architecture perspective. We can do data modeling from a design perspective. From the architecture perspective, we are going to make use of the Archimate language. From the design perspective, that's let's say the details, we are making use of the UML uh, language. And for this reason, in this training course, is also foreseen to give a short explanation of the Archimate concepts that are related to a data architecture and the UML concepts that are related to uh, to the data design. So that uh, training course is um, is uh, nearly uh, nearly complete, nearly ready for uh, uh, for offering. The data is the static part. Now we want to move to the dynamic part and the dynamic part is uh, the processes. So the processes are actually what, uh, let's say, in the beyond terminology, that is that are the business scenarios. But the business scenarios, they, they are different from, uh, from, um, from real process models as we know them and model them via BPMN. So again here, for, for our business scenarios, we will introduce those concepts of UML that are relevant for uh, creating our own um, our own uh, business scenarios. So here, the same way of working, a general introduction in what is beyond, explaining the beyond architecture a little bit, and then explaining the, um, the, the language that is used, the, the, the UML business, uh, um, business scenario, uh, the UML sequence uh, diagram language that is used to create your own uh, language. And again, we are going to apply this to a case which will be the customer onboarding case. So that's from a process perspective. And then from an integration perspective, let's say the API, the semantic API perspective, um, we are going to um, create an, uh, a training which is going to give guidance on the API designers on how to use the, uh, the semantic APIs and translate them into real working uh, APIs. And again, we're going to make use of the same case, namely customer onboarding. Uh, mechanism of the of the of the training is again the same. You don't have to. You do not need to have followed the enterprise uh, training. But each training will start again with this introduction in the Beyond framework, a little bit explaining it, and then uh, coming up with the best practices. And this training course, this integration training course, will be developed by. Uh, people who have done it already a couple of times in practice. So we are uh, still engaging um, those uh, people. So that's uh, in, in a nutshell what uh, we are going to offer. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Patrick, for that elaboration. And so now we're moving to the uh, Q&A. We have a, just a little bit of time left. Um, to elaborate, I see here that uh, Munir, uh, if I pronounce that right, also mentioned in the chat that he is preparing for certification. And this is a bit of a sneak preview, but we did a survey uh, in February. Uh, we sent it out to the Bayern network, but also to the Van Hare audience, um, which is quite uh, large within the enterprise architecture domain. And uh, the survey results we will share soon with the community, but here's already a little sneak preview. And uh, so this was not only sent to buying professionals, uh, but what is um, nice to see there, I think myself, is that about 50% to the audience that we sent, and these were not just buying professionals, 
uh, says that they were working at some part within the organization in Bayern. About 11% says that they are Bayern certified, but 84% of the participants intend to go for the certification. Uh, so that's that's uh, as we said before. We see a we really see an uptake in the buy-in certification. We see a constant growth also, um, and the survey also co confirms our um, suspicion and observation in this. We will share the survey later with everyone via the newsletter. Um, then now it's time for Q and A. We have three minutes. If there's any questions left um, regarding the uh, the upcoming courses, if you're interested. You can ask the, you can ask it via the chat form. Because, um, Patrick, the, the, the course is called, uh, buy-in, uh, data. Uh, analysis and uh, design specialist. Um, yeah, what is the typical user for for that course? Is that a data architect or is that a a data steward or a data manager? Or what what is the typical audience for that for that potential course? Uh, that that are the the data architects, the data models, the the logical data models, mm -hmm. the people who have to do. Um, also integration for, of uh, of different uh, of different applications with their own data structure uh, those people they will also be very interested because the beyond the the, the beyond language um, of uh, of the data language of uh, of beyond is uh, is a conceptual is conceptual which means it represents what the things are, and these are not structured in function of how they are used. So these are a kind of an, uh, of an, uh, a translational language from one um, from one database realization to another database realization. So also those people will uh, will benefit uh, of this. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I see your question. Um, uh, uh, I hope I pronounced it correctly, uh, Milind uh, Kulkarni, uh, sorry if I say it uh, wrong, um, who says he's interested in the course uh, data analysis and data design, and he quests when we can know more about the syllabus and possible fees. So um, we hope to, um, I think, uh, well, tell you more maybe already this month, say more about the syllabus. Um, but I think that in September, the course will be live. Maybe we can already say more about the fees and such, but if you want to already inquire to participate in the course, I think you at this point can best reach out to buy and services. They can connect you to a accredited training organization. So these courses will be part of the accredited training curriculum. Um, so any accredited training organization can offer this course from which there are, at this point are three. Um, so feel free to reach out to buy and service, or you can ask to Van Haar, mail to solutions at Van Haar.net, and we're happy to facilitate you to the, uh, to one of the, the vendors. Um, I think, uh, this is it. So the next, uh, session has already started. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for listening. Um, and hopefully see you next time. Have a good day ahead. Thank you. Thank you also, Patrick, for your time and explanation. Thank you, Moritz. Well, you have to